Hey guys, welcome back to Phone Flipping 101. I am Dave. Uh, today I want to go over a subject that you guys have been asking a lot about and it's been uh, posted a lot in the group lately, in my Facebook group, is um, selling your phones to a direct buyer. A lot of you have been asking about this. A lot of you might not know what this is. Um, you can go into the link below and uh, join my Facebook group, Phone Flipping 101, for all of you that are new. And everyone that's not new, and they've been asking this in the Facebook group, um, you've been seeing Bob Fritz post links and stuff. So we've been selling our phones, instead of selling them on eBay, we've been selling them to direct buyers. Now, you might ask why we're going to do that. Um, everybody knows eBay has those 10% fees. Everybody knows eBay has paying any ass customers, paying any ass returns, all those scammers all the time on eBay. I'm not saying eBay is not a great place to sell phones. I still sell cell phones on eBay a lot, um, but I do have a few private buyers, and actually I just started using another one that we're promoting in our group, uh, Phone Flipping 101. So if you guys are not in there yet, join it today. The link is below, and um, we talk about how we uh, sell to direct buyers now. So a lot of us in there have been starting to use uh, the direct buyer. I'm not going to name any names right here, but... Uh, there's links in the group. Uh, we basically every week they, they have an updated list. Like every Monday, I believe, they update their prices, their buy list. It's an Excel you know, spreadsheet. And um, I know a lot of you have seen them before. And a lot of them are paying very low prices. A lot of them, you know, paying pretty good prices. Well, the one we've been using has been paying like pretty good prices. And it's not just paying the good prices, it's finding someone to be reliable and someone who you can trust. So there's a lot of us in there now using the same, the same direct buyer, and he's been pretty, um, pretty good so far. And because um, um, there's a lot of shady ones out there, you know, a lot of fly by night. You know, you send them in your phones, and they say, oh, if this is not the condition you sent it, and they lowball you or whatever. You know, change the original price. These guys are pretty good. Once you know what you're doing, and you need to talk to them. I mean, you could call them, you could text them anytime. Um, and they're great customer service. So basically, they have a spreadsheet, and you go, you look up your prices on your phones. I don't have any phones, right? I have those phones back there in the box that are going to a private buyer today. But you will look up, say, your phones, iPhone 7, um, iPhone 7 Plus, 128 gigabyte. It's Verizon. Now, this doesn't matter if they are, are um, a bad ESN or not, which is great. So you can sell all the bad ESN, they're all the same price, bad ESN or not. Which is fine. I mean, obviously, if they're cracked or damaged in any way, that reduces the price. And it's all on the spreadsheet. You know, the different prices. So let's just throw out a number, say $300 for that phone. You looked at it, the condition, you looked it up the, on the on the uh, spreadsheet. You say, okay, th yep, this phone fun falls under that category. The price says $300 right there. What you're going to do now, see, even multiple phones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven phones. I would go on... After I figured out the exact um, price that they're going to pay me for them, you'd go into PayPal and you'd send them an invoice. And you'd just, you know, item number one, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7, this one's cracked, and the carrier, and you send the IMEI number with everyone. And you send them the invoice, they look at it, they will pay you up front. Um, a lot of you might have PayPal holds still, which is still going to come into effect there probably. Um, I just actually sent to the new buyer and, uh, like, I don't know how many phones I've sent, like maybe 10 already in the past week or so. And, um, they still have, for PayPal still holds for some weird ass reason, but, and then sometimes they don't. But anyway, long story short, you will take these seven phones, four, five, six, seven phones, get your price, send them the invoice. They pay you that invoice. You box those up. You ship it to them. Once they get that, they open them up, they inspect them, they look at the invoice, how you described them, and the prices you put down, and if they're the same exact condition as you stated, you're all good. and Done deal. And if you have a hold, they will release that hold right away uh, as soon as they receive them and, and check them. Now, the prices, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're making less money with a direct buyer. Um, Yes and no. I mean, there's certain phones, yes, I still sell on eBay because I can get more money for them. But I've been looking through the spreadsheet, the new spreadsheet for this, this new buyer that everyone's recommending that we're all starting to use now in my group, that their prices are pretty, excuse me, protein shake, it doesn't taste the best either, trust me. Um, 
their prices are pretty damn close to eBay. Now, say say that three hundred dollar phone. Okay, you could probably get you know maybe three forty say on on eBay. But now you have the 10% fees right there. So that's $30 off right there. Okay, so you might make a $10 difference. But you, you're, not, you're not having to deal with eBay. You're not having to deal with customers. You're not having to deal with scammers. You're not having to deal with customer service and all that stuff. So if you guys are looking to get a private buyer, join the group. Phone Flipping 101. There's plenty of links in there for the one that we're using. It's pretty reputable and... Uh, Everybody's starting to use them, and they're making their life much more easier. I'm all about simplifying this business. As you guys know, I've been, I've always done part time, and I like eighty thousand dollar profit last year part time, and now I'm killing it even more with less part time, if that makes sense. Working part part time, more than doubled my profits already just in January um, than I have any other month. I mean, it's it's very simple, but that's another whole subject that I get into how I did that. But this just simplifies things because I always thought that the worst part of flipping phones, if you were going to sell on eBay, was listing on eBay. I don't know about anybody else. I hate listing on eBay. Even though you have templates saved and all that, you still have to take pictures of every phone that you list because every phone is a little different. It has a scratch here, scratch there, crack this, that's not crack. You still have to take pictures, crop your pictures, change the description a little bit. I mean, I know it only could take you know, five minutes, ten minutes, depending on how much detail you go into. No more of that. So if you guys are trying to simplify where to sell your phones, check it out in the Facebook, you know, Phone Flipping 101 group and check out the links. You'll see the prices and you'll go on eBay and, and check those prices and you're like, whoa, no way. I can sell it for way more on eBay. But then you got to think about your fees. Minus that 10% fees, minus your shipping to them. Well, you shouldn't say minus your shipping because you still have to ship it to uh, the uh, direct buyer. Uh, this, you could also avoid PayPal fees 100%. You could box, I could box up these seven, make the invoice, box them up, send them all in. It's getting blurry now. Why isn't it focusing? Um, there we go. I'll stop moving around so much. You could um, box them all up, send them in to these guys with a note. You could have a direct bank wire wired to your bank for free, or in some cases I heard it might cost $1 and very rare banks that do that. But free money wire to your bank. So all you're basically doing now is paying shipping. You're shipping those seven phones in to one place. Once they receive them, inspect them, they're in the same condition. Money wire it to your bank if that's what you want. Um, or you could just do that. Still use PayPal, but they will send it. To, you won't have to send the invoice. And I don't think it'll cost you anything when they send you money to uh, your PayPal account. So if you don't want to get paid up front, you just want to wait until it gets delivered. Like a lot of people have holds anyway, so this really won't affect any of that, you know. Um... It's, it's great. It's starting to work out pretty good. So, I, like I said, I'm all about simplifying everything. So, and if you guys are more interested in that, join my group. We've been talking about it a lot this past week. Everybody's been talking about it and asking me to make a video on it real quick. Um, I've, I've just been busy. I've been busy doing my other things, so I had some time right now to make it. So, I hope this guy, I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, any questions, just post them in the uh, Facebook group, guys. Keep hustling, my friends.